Hey guys, Shay with Hawaii. Uh, I'm at one of the uh, onion fields that we have, and one of the drip systems isn't running now. It's a good chance to show you how it works. So I want to show you what we do, and <laughs> when it's running, I can't show you because it's too noisy. So down the cement ditch, the water's going to run, and we're going to have a pre-filtration system, right? All it is is a big, you know, 12-inch uh, PVC pipe with slits cut in it. Now that's going to pull the water in and keep the majority of the debris from going through the pump system and in the, into the impeller. And it also keeps the, the core of the filtration from uh, getting blocked off. So one of the updates that we made recently is electric. Um, just, just a few years ago, most of our pumps were diesel powered. And we've made the investment um, from a sustainability standpoint. You can see the power coming in here to reduce our, our carbon footprint, to reduce the amount of... Uh, emissions that we're making. And we've done that by converting to electric. All right. So this, this electric pump is going to pressurize, push the water into these sand media filters. So the reason these are called sand media filters is because they're literally full filled with sand and the water is going to come in and be pushed through this system and completely filtered. I mean, it'll take almost everything out. I mean, you could almost drink it on the other side. If you had ran, if you ran it and did any sort of chemical application, chlorine or something, you actually probably could. Um, we don't get it quite that clean because uh, we don't need to, but um, it, it is very clean when it goes through. So again, the water will come feed in, pressurize into this manifold, comes down and through the filtration, the sand media filter, and then comes out the bottom. Now, let me show you something else we do that's really energy saving. And that's behind me. This tank behind me is going to be utilized for um, adding fertilizer to the field. So in the past, we would have had to drive a machine, uh, a big spreader wagon, through the field to apply any fertilizer. And when you do that, you can imagine we're casting at random the, the fertilizer media all over. So we're, we're putting fertilizer in the middle of the row right here where we don't need it. Um, by using that tank and running it through the system, pressurizing and coming into these drip tape, are these drip lines. These drip lines are only gonna spread out from about just outside of where that onion is to the other side of this onion. So we're only gonna put the fertilizer right where the plant can get, can get to it. So we don't waste so much. So let me go back, all right? And I, I know I'm going around in circles here a little bit. So we're gonna go through the sand media filter. It's already filtered, it's coming out, it's pressurizing the line about 12 to 18 pounds pressure. It's gonna come in, we're gonna fill up what we call lay flat. and it's kind of obvious why we call it lay flat when it's empty, it lays flat. Um, the lay flat will, will fill up pressurized to those, that 12 to 18 pounds, depending on what we need. And then each one of these spaghettis, we call them. The reason they're called the spaghetti is just because they're stringy and look like spaghetti. And uh, I guess in ag, we keep it simple sometimes. Each one of those has a different ID inside diameter. So if I pull this out, they're gonna hate me for this and I'm gonna hate it too, because I have a hard time getting it in. You can see that inside diameter. We can control the flow and the volume of water that goes into that line um, by the length and the inside diameter of this um, spaghetti, of this, of this tube. And so we can actually compensate for longer runs, for longer fields, for different elevation changes on a row by row basis. And we'll try and run our fields at um, in the mid 90% efficiency rate. So what that means is that the water that we're getting at the top of the field here versus the middle and the bottom, or this row right here versus one that's 250 that way is comparable. And that way we can be more consistent in sizing and yield and in quality, okay? So let me put this back in and I'll walk you out in the field a little ways. Another thing you're gonna notice in the background is uh, our H2A crew, it's been raining like crazy. So we're not harvesting asparagus. And these guys are out here hand weeding to get stuff like this out of the field. And a lot of us don't realize that we still have to put a lot of hand labor in most of our fruits and vegetables, even the ones that are mechanically harvested like this.